Now, Hugh Lunn wrote a book, Brisbane author Hugh Lunn wrote a book called Fred and Olive's Blessed Lino. And we're all famili- too familiar with Lino, all too familiar with Lino, living in lots of share houses late last century. But, look, the, one of the great things about Lino is the lo- newspaper lining under the Lino. Old newspaper, it's like a... It's like a looking back into the past. Anyway, once I found this... Um, 1935 Courier, which is a precursor to the Courier Mail, and in it was an advertisement for what is essentially a male garter called a governor belt. (laughs) Now, this guy's life was pretty grim when he went to the beach. Made fun of and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, look, I wondered to myself, um, you know, which suburb suburb is he from in Brisbane? And... uh, what beach is that? Is that Shorncliffe? Is that um, is it Southport? Uh, and and what, what job did he do? How did he put on so much weight? And if he was here tonight, what story would he tell us about his life and how it turned out? This is a sad, sad story And it concerns me greatly This is a sad, sad story Cause I'm a sensitive man I am a sad, sad story I am a pie man, pie man I do the very best that I can More pies, more pies I've grown to twice my size Ah, I take my truck to the coast And I get out of my truck I put on my trunks Which are bigger than most I walk to the water I see the little kitties laughing at me I guess I have to admit well On the beach Immense on the beach. I was immense. I was immense. I sat down at the gents. A man of no consequence. Yeah, I was immense. Then I got me a golden belt. Now I'm sleek and I'm spelt Well, all the girls, they just melt Well, from this day hence I got myself confidence We're the governor built No longer immense I'll have a happy ending, you know, with self-improvement That's 